Good morning, everyone. It was so great seeing everyone today, yesterday, as many as I could see, driving and waving. It was really nice to see see a lot of your faces and, and see and having such a nice and sunshiny day yesterday. Today's Tuesday, NTI Day 17. And as I'm looking through your packet, um, I see you're building um, on the reading from what we've read so far and talking about some of your own experiences and knowledge about animals. It's okay for you to go ahead and use the things you already know uh, with, with your comparing text to self section. But also, if you're seeing me, then you must have some uh, internet access. So go ahead and take some time and, and do a little research on the animals. Uh, that you're talking about. Find out a little bit more about them. Maybe you don't know what all they eat. Maybe they eat some things you're not aware of or in there and more about their environment itself. Uh, but I did notice that today in science you have a re reading passage titled Animal Life Cycles. And I know that Mrs. Slade has downloaded, uploaded on Facebook on this page uh, color pictures of this piece so that you can get a, get to see the diagrams and the the pictures clearer they, they really are nice and they're much better in color um, but I thought maybe I would read this for you today uh, so if you want to read along with me um, life science is probably my favorite type of science there is. So I get really excited, whether it's animal science or plant science, it's definitely something I, I like to talk about. Um, the other day, my daughter took a walk up the hill and she discovered, she found a great discovery in the pond up above our house. And I can't wait to go up there. Uh, she said, there's a lot of stickers and I have to fight my way through, but I am going to add a picture after this to show you what she found. And maybe we can do a little research and, and discover a little more. I already have. I took her picture and I did some Googling and, and discovered what I think it should be from based off of what she told me. And uh, we'll talk about that some more later. But right now we want to talk about animal life cycles. So follow along with me. The big picture. Living things grow and change. Some living things look like their parents when they are babies. For example, a chick looks similar to an adult bird and a puppy looks similar to an adult dog. Other living things look different from their parents when they are young. For example, butterflies and moths first hatch out of eggs and become caterpillars. Then as they change into adults, they develop wings. Although different animals grow in different ways, all living things have a life cycle. A life cycle is the process of growth for a living thing. As you read, learn about the stages or steps in an animal's life cycle. On the top, there's a picture of a baby koala, and the baby koalas look similar to their parents. Baby birds first hatch from eggs. Butterflies develop wings as they change into adults. And that's usually in a cocoon or a chrysalis. What do you already know about baby animals and how they grow? I'd love to hear about it. The life cycle of a butterfly. Sometimes a baby animal's body does not look like its parents' bodies. As a baby grows into an adult, its body changes. The process of this change is called metamorphosis. A butterfly goes through metamorphosis. There are many different kinds of butterflies. One kind is the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies are orange and black. Some monarch butterflies migrate in the fall by flying south to Mexico where it is warm. There they spend the winter sleeping in trees. In the spring, they begin their migration back north. The female monarchs start laying eggs. All butterflies have the same four stages in their life cycle. In the first stage, a female butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. During the second stage, the eggs hatch. From each egg, a larva crawls out. This larva is also called a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats leaves for several weeks. It grows long and fat. Its skin cannot stretch as it gets bigger, so the caterpillar sheds its skin. There is new skin underneath the old skin. This happens several times. During the third stage, the caterpillar hangs from a tree. It forms a chrysalis, 
that is hard and green. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into a pupa. After about two weeks, the pupa will be a butterfly. In the fourth stage, the butterfly comes out of its chrysalis. It is an adult. Its wings are folded and wet. After the butterfly's wings are dry, it can fly. The female butterfly continues the life cycle by mating with a male butterfly and then laying eggs. This process is called reproduction. New caterpillars will hatch from the eggs soon. And the picture is the life cycle of a butterfly. You see the eggs for stage one. Stage two is the larva or the caterpillar. Stage three is the chrysalis or the pupil, pupa people, pupa is, and stage four is the butterfly. The life cycle of a frog. Like a butterfly, a baby frog looks different from an adult frog. A frog also goes through metamorphosis. For example, a bullfrog looks like a fish when it is young. It lives in water, breathes with gills, and has a tail. However, when the bullfrog becomes an adult, it has four legs for living on land. It breathes oxygen with lungs. In the first stage of a frog's life cycle, an adult female frog lays eggs. Most frogs, like the bullfrog, lay eggs in water. During the second stage, a small larva called a tadpole hatches from each egg. A tadpole looks like a small fish. It swims in water and eats water plants such as algae. Like fish, a tadpole breathes with gills. It has a long tail too. During the third stage, a tadpole grows legs. It looks like a small frog with a long tail. It may begin to eat insects and plants during, found in the water. During the fourth stage, a tadpole develops lungs so that it can breathe on land. It is called a froglet. It lives in water until it can easily come up for air. A froglet still has a tail, but it is short. In the fifth stage, the froglet becomes an adult frog. Its tail disappears. The adult frog now lives on land and in water. Soon, the adult female frogs will reproduce. A new group of tadpoles will be born, and the life cycle will start again. Tadpoles do look very different from adult frogs and the adult bullfrog. And if you're lucky enough, you go outside at night in the summertime and you hear that deep-throated You're hearing the bullfrogs, and aren't they wonderful? Right now, the early spring, we get to hear um, spring peepers, and those are small frogs, that, are they toads, that are out and they're chirping and at night, and it's just a beautiful sound. Remembering the life cycle of a frog. Stage one, stage one, is the legs, the, the eggs. The female frog lays eggs. Stage two, the small larva, is the larva stage is the tadpole. Stage three, the tadpole grows legs. It keeps everything else, but it's growing legs. Stage four, the tadpole grows lungs on the inside now has lungs for breathing air, not just gills for breathing underwater. And stage fro five, the froglet becomes an adult frog where it then will lose its tail and not have the tail and it is able to live on land. The life cycle of a bird. In many life cycles, the babies look a lot like the adults. For example, baby birds called chicks look like adult birds. Dogs, cats, and people also have babies that look a lot like their parents. They do not, they do not go through metamorphosis. The world has more than 9,000 different kinds of birds, but they all share a similar life cycle. A toucan is a kind of bird that lives in a tropical rainforest. Toucans have huge, colorful bills Sometimes they use their bills to toss fruit to each other. They chatter loudly to call a mate. Toucans build their nests in tree hollows. This is where they raise their chicks. In the first stage of a bird's life cycle, the female bird lays eggs. A baby bird grows inside each egg. The female bird sits on the egg to keep it warm. 
For some birds, like the toucan, the male bird takes turns sitting on the egg. During the second stage, a chick hatches from the egg. The parent birds feed the baby chick. Some chicks, like the toucan, are born blind and without feathers. Over time, the chick grows feathers and can see. Most chicks, like the toucan, stay in the nest until they can fly. So remembering the state life stages of a bird. The first stage of the life cycle is the female lays eggs. The second stage, the chick hatches from the egg and the parent bird feeds the baby chick. And then stage three, the bird begin, is able to fly and feed, its, feed on its own and four, it is a successful adult bird. During the third stage, the young bird leaves the nest. It goes out to search for its own food. In the fourth stage, the bird is fully grown adult. When the adult bird finds a mate and reproduces, the life cycle starts again. All birds have a similar life cycle. However, not all birds live the same kind of life. For example, toucans eat fruit. The seabirds eat fish. Many birds migrate to warm places in winter, while other birds stay in the same habitat. When young birds can fly, they leave the nest to search for their own food. The life cycle of a mammal. Mammals have life cycles too. A mammal is any animal that has hair or fur. Female mammals make milk to feed their young. Mammals also have backbones and are warm-blooded. The body temperature of warm-blooded animals is constantly warm. Dogs, cats, horses, and people are all mammals. Most mammals do not hatch from eggs. In those mammals, the eggs are inside the female. After a female mammal mates with a male mammal, the egg can change and grow into a baby. The baby is born when it comes out of the female. Mammals are born looking similar to their parents. Over time, they grow and become adults. There are many different kinds of animals. Some animals look like their parents when they are born. Some look completely different. However, each animal has a life cycle and a need to survive in its environment. Dogs and people are two examples of mammals. There are some great vocabulary, great things to learn about. And springtime is such a wonderful time to look at animal life cycles. Um, as you know, I've seen lots of turkeys out. I'm thinking that the female turkeys are probably setting on nests right now, uh, working on the life cycle of that type of bird. So I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Do a little more investigating and learn some more. And if you get a chance to walk outside somewhere and look around, be careful, don't disturb anything, but there's lots of nests being built and lots of eggs and lots of things going on. And look at my next post and see if you can guess what it is that that picture is. And then I'll let you know later. Hope you have a great day. Let's talk soon.